HTML forms. Aside from the form and end form tags, the other components of a form include text, radio buttons, checkbox, a text area, and select. You've all seen forms on a web page. They have a place to input text. They have a place to select options on a list. Sometimes they can be funny. Sometimes the selection list is completely revealed. And sometimes it's a radio button to choose one or another, or it's a checkbox where you can select some or all. When creating a form, you have to start with the form and ending form tags and assemble all of the components between the beginning and ending form tags. We have to add something to the form tag, but we'll get to that in a moment. There are three families of form components. Input type equals something. Text area and select that uses a helper tag option. Think of the select tag as something similar to a list. One type of input is a radio button. One type of input is a check box. One type of input is a text Field. Notice we're starting to name all of our component parts, just as we named our anchors, just as we named our frames. The text area looks something like an essay. Aside from defining the text area, you have to specify how tall and how wide it is in type characters using rows equal and calls equal. Again, similar to a frame. Finally, the select tag, which again comes with an option helper tag. There's a variation on a theme where you can have a selected value for one of your options. As mentioned earlier, the form tag itself needs two additional attributes, an action and a method. The action is where it's going. The method is how it will get there. We also have one additional input type, which is type equals submit. What you see here is a form template. You could use this to get your form started. If you use this particular form action and method equals post, it will actually reply to you with what you have inputted. This is not actually processed anyplace. I'm not showing you how to create the back end, which would update a database. This is simply how to design a form. If you use this template, Change it up. Write out on a sheet of paper what you want your form to ask, the different kinds of questions that you want to use, and then using the form component parts, copy and paste the code to build what you wish to use. Composer can do forms. Insert, form. First define your form. The action, where is it going, and the method. From here, you can add a form field. 
whether it's text, a check box, a radio button, a submit button, or even a reset button. You can also choose a text area, again similar to an essay, where you have to define in typed characters the number of rows and columns. Don't forget, name each of your field components. A selection list. Name the list. Start adding options. Include the text to display and the value that will be returned. In Dreamweaver, create a new HTML page. Insert your form. Insert a text field. Again, they call it ID. It's the same as name. Text area. Insert a checkbox. Again, give it a name. Insert a radio button. For each button that are related, please use the same name, such as gender, and then the value can be male. The next button, the gender will still be the ID, and the label will be female. And finally, when you're ready to submit, insert a button, add the submit, and you're done.